Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel and thank you so much for clicking that button and sharing this clip with me and this time, this snapshot in time with me for 2023 on, of course, the 9th of December. Wow. Okay, so the festive season period is kind of happening now. We're, we're all kind of getting ready. We're excited, of course, for the Christmas ahead. And um, yeah, wow. I love this time of year. I truly do. I appreciate that not everybody, uh, it's not everybody's favorite time of the year for a whole host of number of reasons. So I always try to try to have that, um, just try to be considerate there of how I put that across. But the Christmas period is really one of my favorite times of the year. It truly is. It's, of course, comes with all those incredible things. And I always find that that a lot of people, of course, always just think of, of course, it's getting together, it's the gifts, it's the decorations. Sadly, sometimes in this world, a lot of people get unfortunately tied up with how much things cost and giving that sort of show. And and that's, of course, not what Christmas is all about. The Christmas season brings so much magic. A lot of people think, what on earth are you on about, Bradley? Have you had one too many glasses of something? No, because Christmas magic it is a true thing. And I only actually just had this conversation with my niece. And she said, Christmas magic isn't real. And I said, excuse me, I'm 30 years of age, young lady, and Christmas magic is real. And you can really feel that when it's on its way. And a lot of people think, what on earth are you on about? Because you can. And it's not about the chill in the air, but it truly is. This time of the year, everything seems to change. People in just the, the, their normal kind of persona, their, their kind of attitudes, and it changes. The kind of when people, you, you meet people in the streets, or if you, whether it be friends or family, or just walking past someone saying good morning, everybody seems to have a little bit more of a spring in their step. And of course, with Christmas upon us, it really is a very happy time of year. Not of course for everybody. I truly appreciate that. So that's why I always say that it's really, really important for us to just be courteous and us to just be understanding that there may well be people out there who don't find this the most amazing time of the year. But of course, it is for us. So it's just having that mutual understanding and that understanding that, of course, somebody may be going through something. Like I always say on my channel, that everybody is going through something. This time of the year has a really amazing, uh, sort of almost air about it where things happen. I love um, one of my favorite Christmas films, Mrs. Miracle. And uh, she says in the film that miracles happen every day. And do you know what? I love that. And I've, before I even watched that film years and years ago, I, I always uh, I always thought to myself, you know, that anything can happen on just the spur of the moment. I've always been brought up for that and to plan for it and to take care and to say what you wish to people and, and to love and to care and to consider. And, and yes, yeah, I truly do. And this season has an amazing way of always reminding us that actually, do you know what, miracles happen every single day. And of course, sometimes the blessings in life don't necessarily come off thinking that, wow, it's this flashing light scenario that you've been blessed. Sometimes it really does take us a little while to understand that actually what we're going through, there are good things. There is a blessing there, but sometimes it may just not be uh talked to us or passed to us or we've learned from whatever we've gone through and in that spur of the moment we may not think that actually it is a blessing but it actually is and this time of year I always love the fact that anything can happen all people of course are different all people are going through something and Christmas time is just an amazing amazing opportunity to build and grow new bonds and I do find that there is just so much to be had this season so my message to you today is embrace Christmas magic, embrace everything which Christmas has to bring, because it brings an awful lot with it, not just gifts. And that is so, so important. Um, recently, I've been very tied up with the preparations of Christmas and almost getting a little bit stressed. So the last couple of days, I've been just taking a moment and just thinking, actually, do you know what? I'm going to make time for me. I'm going to make time to reconnect. Only just yesterday evening, I don't catch up with my brothers as much as I should do. I think we're all very guilty of that, family members. So I spent several hours on the phone, talking, chatting, laughing, putting the world to rights, and it was amazing. Uh, I spent a really lovely day yesterday with my mum, Christmas shopping. Uh, we had a really, really lovely time. Um, 
we've had some house renovations, so I haven't been able to get out too much today. So we've been having some renovations done today uh, with work people in that in. So it's been uh, a little bit stressful, but that's been sorted now and it's back to putting decorations where they should be. Um, we've got another real tree. Uh, we've got we've got an artificial tree in the lounge. Uh, uh, I think it's about seven and a half foot one, which mum and I decorate. Dad does the lights. And um, we've got a we've got a, a fresh one uh, now, which uh, my brother and I uh, got last night. And that's in the dining room. And we've got a and we've got one in the hallway. So we've got quite a lot of decorating to do. And I love garlands and poinsettia flowers. So we started actually on the 1st of December. We're still doing it. <laughs> um, and I absolutely love Christmas decorating. I absolutely love all of that and gift wrapping. But do you know what? All of that is only just a small snippet what Christmas is all about. It's not how much you spend. It's not the gift which you present somebody. It is all about giving. It is all about sharing. And it is all about the people who you share it with. But let's just park that for a moment because this season has so many amazing things and it's not just that. I often find that when you watch a Christmas film it fills you up with that that really lovely fuzzy feeling. Now a lot of those films of course have romance, they have friendship in and they have incredible things happen. A lot of us don't necessarily walk around so much with our eyes full open to capture all of those blessings and those amazing things to happen all the time. But I do find that at Christmas, people seem to be much more open and a lot more, let's say, absorbent to things going on around them. So people decorating their houses and people having that real festive cheer about them. People are in a much more better place when we've had the year, we've had a hectic, busy year and hopefully an enjoyable one and hopefully fantastic things have happened for all of us. Sadly, it's true that there will be things which have happened which have devastated people. And that's why I always say it's, it's so important that when the Christmas time comes, that we are blessed. So let's embrace that because let's not plan for the year ahead or the year ahead again. Let's embrace the right now because Christmas gives us that opportunity to embrace the bonds we have with our loved ones. It gives us the opportunity to capture the right now, to slow things right down and share a festive moment with perhaps your favourite glass of something with a friend or family members or perhaps put the fire on whether it be goodness knows what and catching up with family and friends and put a film on and in take a moment whether it be a couple of hours or an evening or even two and just embrace the right now there will always be things you need to do and i'm so guilty of that but leave it for now catch up with it later or even in the new year if you can and you're blessed with that opportunity because christmas happens but once a year and my friend it's not just decorations and glamour and money to be spent and gifts and things around the tree it's not as i always say if you've got nothing you've got so much to give and you may think, well, how is that possible? Your time, your patience, your care, your love. This Christmas season doesn't have to be expensive. And the pressures of society puts that on us, that we must spend a certain amount, or we must gift a certain amount, or we must do this or have this by a certain time. Nah, it's fantastic to be able to do all of that. And if you can, then God bless you. And that's amazing that you share with me, because I'll be honest, I can as well. I come from a very, very amazing family who go all out. And that's amazing. But I'm also very, very vigilant that the fact that there are a lot of people in this world who even struggle to put a meal on the table, let alone have to consider Christmas. I'll let you into a secret. When I lost my nan back on the 31st of May 2021, I always used to spend a lot on my nan for Christmas, always. Now what I do for that, and it breaks my heart that she's no longer here, but she's with me always, and she is always there, and I feel her presence, and I feel her love. What I always do is I I cost the same amount of what I would have spent on nan, and I give that to charity. And this year, I've given that to the Alzheimer's Research Charity, which I absolutely love and adore. I'm not going to go into amounts, because that's, that's untoward, that's that not what this is all about at all. Another thing which I absolutely love, another charity rather, sorry, is the Salvation Army. And I was doing my research, as I always do, about how much to give this year. And I've seen a fantastic uh, article that a certain amount would be able to provide support um, and company and uh, provide uh, a lovely meal and a gift for a certain amount for three elderly people and people who are less fortunate and don't have companionship and don't have company. So I've done that year at this uh, as well. And I'm also looking at crisis at Christmas as well, which I love to do. Christmas is all about embracing and I absolutely understand that not everybody can give to charity. And certainly with people struggling to be able to do 
just the day the daily things from Monday to Friday within the within the year. When Christmas comes, it gives a lot of anxiety to be able to provide an amazing Christmas. But let me tell you something. I know from in my heart, okay, when I see my nieces and nephews, if I spend a, a large amount or a small amount, the thing they remember, the pictures, the time we've captured, the time I've spent with them, the time I've shared with them, the conversation, the hug, the picture which we've captured in that moment. Their birthdays were just recently. My nephew, my niece, and my little niece. And do you know what? The gift, amazing. They loved it. They appreciate it. But it's the time. It's that it's that hug. Do you know what I mean? It's that special moment spent together with perhaps doing some colouring in or playing on a game or having a laugh and a joke. Christmas truly doesn't have to be expensive. And Christmas offers us so much. And this is such a magical time of year to reconnect bonds. And do you know what? One of the things which I always hope, I've not been blessed with a relationship yet, but I trust that it's in my plan with the Lord above that, that I will be blessed with the most incredible family. I've already got that, but I would love a family of my own. I'd love to get married and have, have my, have my wife by my side and my life partner as a best friend. And I hope for that to happen. And I truly do believe that that will. I have faith that that will. And I always love there to be a Christmas romance. And I think that sometimes when I'm walking around, and I, if I go out anywhere or if I'm doing anything and I see young families and that I look, it just makes me feel a bit warm to think, do you know what? This time of year has so much magic to offer and that's going to be me one day. I see that with my brothers and their families. I think, do you know what? This time of year is just so magical. It's so spiritual. It's so incredible. It doesn't have to include expensive gifts. It doesn't have to include lavish and, and grandeur decorations and everything like that and endless trees and, and goodness knows how many lights. But it just it, it takes being a little bit open and having a little bit more of a clearer mind. So if you've worked hard all year and if you haven't and you've been going through a difficult situation, don't be so hard on yourself. It's December and I know everybody won't embrace Christmas. I know they won't for their own reasons. I myself and my own family have sorrow in, in, in difficult times where we lost my grandfather on the 16th of December. Um, it would have been today my, my dear aunt's birthday and she would have only been 59. And it's just... You see that her family who is still here with us, my nan who is no longer here, it's, it's tough. It's really, really hard. Faith gets me through. And I know for a lot of people who want a faith, the struggle, yeah, I, I just get that. But it, I think December has the power to be able to, do you know what, take an extra moment to slow things down and to actually say, do you know what, number one, it's okay if you're a little bit upset today, it's Christmas time. It's going to be, it's powerful, it's emotive, there's emotions, there's so much sort of heightened, there's memories, there's all of that going on. I found myself looking at pictures of my nan from different Christmases, and I go with thoughts and things, and in one thing and another, and I'll be in floods of tears, and then I turn to happy tears, and I think to myself, you know what, I'm so blessed that I had all of that, and that she will always be my nan for all eternity. My dear aunt, I remember her from when I, from all the times I've spent with her and in her wit, in her way, and in her snobbery, and that sounds rude, but she was, but she was an incredible snob, bless her heart, she really was, it was Harrods, and Lardy Dallas, and trips to America, and just before Christmas, a flash holiday, and yeah, my grandfather wasn't so blessed with time with him, I was only one when he passed away, but I love him with all my heart, and, and I know him so well, through here, and through my nan, and my mum, and my brothers, Christmas brings up all those memories, the festive season is so incredible to be able to, it kind of stirs emotions, it brings happiness, yes it brings sadness and sorrow, and Christmas sadly brings joys and sorrows, but it's up to us to capture the magic and hold on to the magic and really catch it, catch the spirit, slow things down, and that's just the loveliness I find, the warmth and the fuzziness of Christmas. Yeah, isn't this festive period great? Of course, you've got the romance, you've got friendship, you've got people coming together. If somebody gives you an opportunity, don't miss out on it. Don't say that you're too busy, because at the end of the day, let's live this Christmas fast. Let's live this day fast. Let's enjoy it. Let's embrace it. On that note, God bless, and let's make the most of this Christmas season. And I hope with the nine days we're already in December that you're well, that you're healthy, you're not stressing too much. There's plenty of time left if you've left Christmas shopping a little bit late this year. God bless, take great care, and until next time, I'll be seeing you real soon. Enjoy the coming days of December in this festive period, this holiday season, 
And if this is the one you've watched before, I wish you a very, very Merry Christmas, but I hope you'll join me before we all enjoy Christmas. And until next time, God bless you. Take great care and I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.